Hey everybody, this is me Justin here. Um, what's up? I'm just gonna be making a pretty long commentary for you guys. Um, kind of requested by someone in the fun chat named Two Beasts for You Thirty Three. Um, he said that he thinks they're kind of relaxing and stuff when he like AFK skills and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm just gonna be training my Smith in the background. And I'm very tired right now. Um, it's 1.20 a.m. And almost every night I go to bed at like 3 or 4 in the morning. So, I don't know. I need to get into a new type of schedule and try to go to bed earlier. Because I'm going to bed way too late. And I wake up around 12. And something I always wanted to do is just like wake up at 5 in the morning every morning like when it's like still dawn and stuff a little bit cold outside and just like play runescape um like during school days that's always been what i wanted to do i just wanted to wake up super early and play runescape but i can't do that can i'm basically sleeping for 12 hours every day and that's something i kind of want to do because like maybe two or three years ago i didn't have a laptop and we used to have this one computer which now we call the dinosaur and me, my brother, Nick, Ryan, and me, yeah, three people. We used to take turns playing Moonscape, usually one hour turns each. Especially when they a couple turns per day. And we used to always get up really early to try to, like, sneak in some extra minutes and stuff. And, yeah, I just don't do that anymore. Because now we have laptops, and we basically make up our own schedules now, like, when the dot. And there's 71 Smith, and I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, I'm supposed to be making homes. And this thing is, like, really fun and relaxing and stuff. I mean, really. Um, it's really fast XP. I'll give you that. And just doing, like, the cheapest way. I'm getting a bunch of XP still. I mean, I could be doing Tier 3 and getting this in, like, no time at all. But I'll get a lot less XP. And I'll be losing a lot more money. And in all honesty, it's all about the money right now. Um, I don't really want to, like, waste all my money all at once. It's like that saying, like, when someone gives you, like, $100, like, don't spend it all in one place. It's kind of like that saying right there, but, yeah, that's pretty, <laughs> um, that's basically all I have to say about that. It's, well, it's like, as if you're going to be using and ruin at this place, like, ruin ores and stuff, and wasting your bank in, like, two minutes. That's basically how... Like, that's a good description of the saying right there. And, I'm not too sure if I should be playing any more Diablo 3. I mean, I did play, like, two days ago, and I haven't been playing ever since. I, um, I was really getting into the game. I really liked it. But then I noticed, like, I make RuneScape videos for people that like RuneScape videos. And, I'm not just gonna quit playing RuneScape to play this game. Because, um, the first day I played, I was actually considering quitting RuneScape at that moment. But then I noticed that, you know, I make videos for some people and I got like 55 subscribers, so that means a lot. So I'm not gonna, just going to give up on um, all my video making, all my hard work in my account, just for a new game. Um, That's ridiculous and stupid in my opinion. But I did go to the movie today and I saw the movie Ted. And if you guys don't know what Ted is, it's basically a movie about a teddy bear who, um, well let's just start from the um, beginning. There's this kid... I think his name's Jake. I'm not too sure. Let's just say his name's Jake. I forgot. And that's kind of pathetic guy. I forgot. But, um, he's around, like, five. No, he's eight years old. And he goes outside and no one likes him. And Christmas morning, he gets a teddy bear, and he loves it. Um, he, it's, like, a big stuffed animal. Like, we all had one of those before when we were a kid. Um, so he had a big stuffed animal. He named it Teddy. And later on, named it Ted. And one night... I think a couple months later, well, let me just skip past a couple months, and a couple months later, he says, I wish you could be real so we could be like, friends forever, and they could talk and stuff like that. The next morning, he just, like, stand like, the teddy bear's, like, hiding from him and stuff, and then he just, like, stands up, and, like, I love you, hi, we can be friends forever, <laughs> stuff like that. It's actually pretty funny. And then... Some year, like a bunch of years, passed by, and then it's showed them like smoke and weed together. It's actually really funny, and it's basically jokes left and right. Um, one of my favorite parts is when like 
this fat kid comes up with his creep creepy ass dad and asks to buy um Ted and it's so funny they had tried to kidnap him back into the car and try to hide him because he knew that um the owner was trying to find him again and he didn't make the bag and he could hear and he was saying like the fat kid and the dad were trying to throw him in the car he was like I can hear the fat kid run I can hear the fat kid run it's so funny it's like one of the funniest movies I ever saw in my life I mean I know I said kick ass was like the funniest movie I ever saw in my life but Honestly, this tops it. I mean, even my friend wants to like see it again, and that's saying a lot. Um, if you guys have the chance and to see it, like, I'm not too sure if it would cost too much money. Just go to the movies and see it, but um, you guys should have to see it. It's like one of the best movies ever, and you could basically talk on and on about the jokes for hours and hours and like days and weeks and all that good stuff. And yeah. That's basically all I really had to say about movie type things, and I'm wondering if I should get 70 mine. That's this is now back into Dreamscape Blades type crap. Um, I'm contemplating if I should get 70 mine. I need to get 80, but um, 80 would be like impossible. That's like asking to see God in real life, like wait this second, and yeah, that's. Damn, I'm not really in the mood for training mining. Mining is probably one of my um least favorite skills in this game. Honestly, it used to be my favorite when I like I used to have a skiller and mining was one of my favorite um skills. And when I was a little kid, I think um my favorite skill was wood cutting and fire making. Something I used to do when I was like really young, I think when I was like um five or six. I used to cut down regular trees and just like burn the logs right there. I know some people still do that, but I don't know. I thought it was pretty funny because I can just never do that now. Um, I don't know. I think I may have been like a really good thing to do back then, but today people just buy logs and make bonfires. And whenever I saw people like on the west side of the Varrock. Like lighting fires up and down, like you know the, the bank and the smithing place. Whenever I saw people like light fires, I always thought they were like fucked up because I never knew what they were doing. I didn't know they were like train, like I knew they're making fires. I didn't know what they were doing, really, because I was like really stupid at the time. And I don't know. I always thought they were like really stupid for doing that. I thought they didn't know how to play RuneScape at all or something like that. Like, I just always wondered what the hell they were doing. And, yeah. But now I look at it again and I'm like, oh, they're bought in to get the 99 fire making. Alright, so now on to another topic. Um, I think after a couple years of playing, I decided, I, like, I didn't really find out. I think of my brother. He, one of his friends, um, he had, like, these rainbow boots on and stuff, so. Me and my brother tried to get to the whole, um, type, the barbarian village type thing to get them. I think we died, like, the first two times, but when we finally, like, the funniest part was, when you get the 3k, the 5k, the 10k, um, things, you, it's, like, really amazing, and, like, back then, um, the, I think you, I believe you got, like, 25 or 35k back then, but, Thinking about it now, the economy and stuff, like, so much gold is in this game. Like, it's so easy to get 25, 35k these days. Um, back then, that was, like, that would just, like, make your day. Getting 35k, that would be, like, the best moment of your life. Nowadays, it just means nothing, like. When you think of it, like, back in old terms, like, um... 50 years ago, um, my grandpa always told me, like, how you can get, like, an ice cream for, like, five cents, and now it's, like, a couple dollars each now, and, yeah, it's kind of like the same thing with the economy of Venescape and stuff, and most people are just referring to, like, Venescape as 12-year-old kids and bot and stuff, and I have to, I have to agree with that, most people do bot now. And I don't really know why. I mean, RuneScape is not that hard. I mean, they make it easier with every update coming out each month. 
and stuff like that. And yeah, I don't see really why you even need to buy it anymore. It just takes so much more easier. And like for example, the fire making and this for example, like what I'm doing right now, like this is so AFKable. It's not even funny. It's like a joke how much AFKable this is. I'm not saying this is a bad thing. This is fantastic. I love this update. I actually never knew how to do this. Um, I believe there's quest on this. Um, yeah, elementary workshop. I already thought this thing. Um, I forgot what this thing's called actually. But I thought this thing with elementary workshop, and I always thought I needed to complete all four quests just to get in here. So I, now I never came over here. I always continued making my little, with little bolt tips and crap like that. And now I look back at it, I'm actually pretty happy. I mean, I, I would have lost a lot more money if I just continued doing this up to the level. Crap, I was on Facebook. Um, if I was going up to the level I'm mean, at now, but honestly, like, I don't know. There's always like good things that happen in your life, and always like bad things. Um. One of my favorite moments on Moonscape was having like a really good friend. Um, one of my favorite friends on Moonscape, I believe his name was Gator Tetchy. Um, he always showed me what like what to do and stuff. For example, he always showed me like how to um do like Runecraft. And when I first found out Runecraft, and I was that was like holy crap! I just couldn't even imagine that. It, I was like flipping out because I was like free money back then, like free wins. I never knew how to buy wins there. And I remember this one time, my brother had a 100k bank and he spent it all on wins. Okay, he went to like, the wound shop and bought all his wounds and he got just to get like a bunch of um, mage XP. Me and my other brother were like, dude, you're such an idiot, you just wasted your whole bank on wounds. And now that I look at it, 100k, that's actually nothing. Um, you can't even really buy that much with 100k. Th nowadays could all like the price had uh, like fluctuated like basically they went up and I'm not gonna bother changing to the home 21 more and I got my XP anyways but um just goes to show how much runescape and games in general can change I mean if I had the opportunity just to like change the game back to maybe like 2006 I mean I probably would I li I miss the old places like when I H V mask and everything else was like five mil. And one story I have about um wares and stuff and their prices is once I made five mil before once in my lifetime, I think it was around two thousand seven, two thousand eight. That's when I was really getting into Runescape. Um, me and my friend started to account share then because um, I had to take our turns on my computer, as I said before, and I was like, wait, Joey, you have a laptop, so how about you just train while I'm not allowed to play, and we just like, take turns like that, so he plays two hours, I'm not playing, so yeah, then we started to camp at Fletch College, and we made a complete banquet there, um, I think we made like 200, 300k per hour, and... I remember us like camping out like all night, just like whenever I slept over and stuff, we just like camped out there, just to get our XP there, and our um money. That's most of where our money came from, fudge collars, and that's basically the golden times when there like no borders, a great community. Yeah, I know it's hard to believe a great community in Moonscape. Um, go like find one of those these days. Um, I believe the only place you can find a good community these days on Moonscape is basically when you skill. The skill community is really nice. Unless you find, like, a witch faggot that always, like, talks shit if you're not, like, rich and, like, you're poor and stuff. Um, basically the same thing, not rich and you're poor. Um, so yeah, back to the story. Um, we used to always camp out flesh collars, and something that happened was we managed to get, like, five mil. But one thing that also happened was... Um, when we had to buy our first Abyssal Whip, and I call it Abyssal Whip, I don't know, I just call it Ab Abyssal Whip because that's what most people call it these days. And just let me fix this, and I believe it used to be like 3.2 mil. I remember I was like 20k off, I was like so upset. So I got my friend to go on my brother's account and trade over 20k. And my brother, um, he wasn't that um happy to like trade over 20k because 20k was kind of... 
like hard to make back then. I mean, there's free trade, so it's all nice then. Um, which now it's not. Well, it's back to free trade, but RuneScape would never be the same. You'd never be like the child and stuff again. But after getting a bit of whip, um, we like trained on flesh colors some more, killed some big like, bandits and stuff, and then we managed to get a five mil bank. And once I got the five mil bank, I bought my first hand tap, and that was around. 2008, I believe, near 2009, and I think maybe a day or two after, my friend went on my account and sold the Santa. I was so upset because I couldn't buy it back after that because I think the price went up a little bit, and I was just so upset. I was like, Joey, why didn't you keep it? Because it went up like 500k, and 500k is like 5 mil nowadays. Um, but yeah, that's. Now I was like really upset. And then like um a couple months later, um, Joey just decided to take my account and like change the password and stuff. And so yeah, he took that and that's when I first account. It was named Hydrogen sixty five. Um we soon decided to change it and then I, cause I this account originally was Hydrogen sixty four and I changed it to Hydrogen sixty five as soon as I changed it to on my other account. Which is now um the pure Joe. Um, you guys may know him from earlier videos and stuff, but yeah, he's a pure Joe and he's a Joey. He's one like one of my best friends in real life. I think we we used to almost be neighbors, um up to the seventh second grade. Then he moved and we were best friends still. Um, I remember I was playing on a Game Boy, he used to have like this Tony Hawk game. I was like so jealous of it. And I think that's kinda of funny now. But Back then, I don't know if Tony Hawk, Tony Hawk was this shit back then, but, um, I don't know. It's pretty cool. And, I had this one memory. My friend, my brother was in the Fowler Drop party room. And whenever I think about where's, I always think about this one memory. Um, my brother went to the Fowler Drop party room, and basically, we didn't really know what a, um, Discovery Turning was, we just knew that it was like semi good and it was like this purple thing. We used to call it like a purple donut or something like that because we never knew what it was or what it did or anything in general about it. But we used to call it like a purple donut type thing, portal or whatever you guys like to refer to as. Um, we went to the Fallow Drop Party Room and someone put it in there. We didn't really know much about it, but um. Remember, this is really back in, like, 2006, I believe, 2005. Um, some old 05, old 03, got it. I think it's old 05, and it was a girl, and she wasn't even flipping out that much. She just, like, went and sold it, and then, like, a year later, it was, like, 200 mil, I believe. Not, wait, not, it wasn't too long, but it did go up a lot. I think it was, like, 15 mil, like, huh, that much suck for her, because she probably already sold it already. And so, uh, one question I have right now is with the pumpkin and the whatever it is, the pumpkin and the disc returning, they both say they're around 215, 220 mil right now. But um, if you do buy them in the GE, they are around 115 mil each right now. Pumpkin is like 125, the disc is like 115. And I just don't understand it. I don't really understand the logic and all this. And people are actually scamming people like they're doing and stuff. Like they bet their pumpkin and they're only whisking 125 mil when the other person is whisking 220 mil. And I don't know. I don't see why Jack just can't update a price like all at once. And I know they like, prices fluctuate pretty fast with rares, so it might be hard to like catch up with it and stuff, but. You know, I'll just see how much it is right now, actually. And yes, I did check up on Easter. Um, once an item I always wanted was a pumpkin, and yeah, they actually are updating it right now. It dropped 10.5 mil today because this one guy, um, MX1099. If you guys don't know him, he's actually some lure, and he makes it. He made this gaming guide. I typed down pumpkin because I was looking up like pumpkin videos, and all I can really find is like old ass videos and RuneScape Power servers and people eating it and stuff. That's basically 
all the videos I really find on it. But I did find his in particular. It was like made like last week. And basically what he did, I just told you. You can go to a guy, try to buy a party hat, give him pumpkin, and give him the rest of cash. And basically he made a hundred mil right there. But basically what he was doing was staking, and he actually like won the stake and stuff. So, um, I don't really like advise you guys scamming. Like, if you guys accuse me of scamming, you guys can honestly check my bank. I'm honestly not making any money, and you guys could honestly probably you guys would most likely see the pumpkin in my inventory or in my bank. And yeah, that's probably like kind of sketchy right now. But you guys probably want me to make a bank video, but. Um, I'm not really in the mood to make a bank video right now, and basically I don't really have that much in my bank at the moment. Um, I think most of my items are in skill and supplies. Hopefully they are, because my bank's kind of running, running a little bit low. And I'm thinking about doing crowding to 99 using the cheap method and making around 47 mil, I believe. That 47 mil will basically bring up, and if I don't, and like. This is just saying if I stop smithing right now, if I stop smithing and got 99 crafting using the slow method, and I did make 47 mil, I could basically get 99 smithing for free, just losing um about 4 mil. I'd be losing 4 mil. Um, well, I'd be losing 53 mil altogether, but whatever. But I don't know. I'm thinking I might do that. I may be training a little bit of crafting today, but for now on, I'm just going to be doing a lot of smithing for my videos because, like for my background videos, because um, it's nice and relaxing, and it's like AFKable, it's really relaxing and stuff. Um, not really sure I can really explain it, but you guys really have to try this out for yourself, and if you guys are free to play, you can still do this, I believe, um, so that's pretty cool. That they're not just making it for members. I mean, I don't really give a crap. I'm always going to be a member. Um, my dad puts a credit card on my account. So I'm basically going to be a member forever. And stuff, so. Um, it doesn't really affect me. If, like, it just stops being free to play and stuff. But right now I got 399s. And my brother has 6. And he doesn't even play music anymore, so. I got to, like, step in my game a little bit. And yeah, that mic is pretty close and all. And it is 1.40 a.m. I'm not too sure how long I'm going to be making this commentary for, but... Um... By the topics I'm going by so far, I think I'm actually doing a really good job. So if you guys are watching this win now, everyone that's watching this win now, please give this a thumbs up. That would be awesome. And just a nice little comment. And if you guys aren't subscribed, um, at least consider giving me a subscribe by the end of this video. That would be awesome of you guys. And... I guess I will go back to another memory I just remembered. Um, I think it was like the first month or I believe of playing Vinscape and I was training out the Minotaurs. That used to be the biggest, most like populated place that everyone used to like train at Minotaurs and at goblins and stuff and like the Barbarian Village type thing. And I met this one guy and I never knew what prey was until he like he put this thing on and I was like, dude, what are you doing? Like, oh, I'm doing prayer. I was like, how the heck do I do prayer? He, like, buried the bone. So I picked up a bone. I was like, well, first of all, I was, like, sketchy. Like, wait, what the, what the hell is a bone? What do I do with a bone? I was, like, five or, like, six at the moment. So, you know, health I know. He, like, the little, like, crossbow, like, the X thing. I was like, all right. So I picked it up. And he was like, bury it. So I just, like, dropped down the ground. I was like, nothing's happening. Then he was like, eat a shovel. I don't I didn't really know what the show thing meant. I ne I don't really know what that does. I still don't really know. Um, I know some people use shovels when they bury the bones. Like I know this. I saw this one video, but I have no idea what that actually does. But when I found out how to bury a bone, I was like so excited. I just like picked up all the bones I possibly could, and it was just like a really good moment for me, just to like know that I learned something new. Like you learn something new every day type thing. Um, as soon as I found that out, I think I got, like, 13 in the first, like, two or three days. I was so excited. When I was 13, I think, um, I remember I got this thing, Superwoman's Drink at 13. And 
I just felt like my my hits were doing so much more power and stuff. I was like so like I was like a boss. Like I was like in my bronze. I couldn't even afford iron at the moment. I just had bronze and yeah, no no one really helped me with money. Um, except for like my I had like two friends. I know like Starry shows no no, um Exic Fat Mage used to be famous. Um part, I think she quit Runescape and she gave me like ten K. My brother was like flipping out like holy crap you got ten K and later I did I I did find out um XX Fat Mage XX is actually famous and it was a girl in real life surprisingly yeah Chalker and yeah that's like a really good moment and I never knew what party I actually did and I it does nothing actually but um that little guy like the wizard I always like try talking to him every day seeing if he'd give me his party at. But I didn't really have any options and stuff, but I always thought that one day he would give me the party at. Whenever I watch that um little tape, like if you guys go to Drainer Village and watch the like, little tape of him like blowing it up, I always try to like, click and walk and walk in. And this is before they they put like the glue over the sides of the wall to show that they updated and stuff. This is like when they still the Kraken. I always try to like walk in there, but I knew I couldn't, but didn't really hurt to try. I just wanted to, like this thing I always had like imaginary imaginations about it. Like I always used to think if I ever did get in there one day, I'd like stick up the whole bank with like my bronze sword. Well I think I had like an iron sword. And yeah, this brings back my memory like more really good memories and stuff. Um I always thought I could take like people's banks like that. Like take the like the bankers money and stuff, but speaking about the swords, um one of my favorite moments was the Verac sword store. Um, I'm not even sure if they have any more, but those were like the good memories. People used to always go there to buy like their swords and stuff and I remember when I had like a good amount of GP. I used to um buy like black swords. Black swords were probably like one of my favorite items in the game. And I remember when they used to have a black scimitar in the whatever place is called the desert. And I remember this one time that on um, the Alcarid desert place. Um, when I got when I got in there, I was like so happy. I never knew how to get in there before, and I thought I already had to like, crust and stuff. But I, th I believe my first. All right, here's the thing: my first day of RuneScape. My first day of RuneScape. Um, my brother went on first. It was like summer, and when my brother went on, it didn't start him out in Lumbridge. I'm trying to remember everything. He started out in like, what seemed like Drainer Village, but it had castles in Drainer Village. And RuneScape used to be nighttime. It wasn't like always daytime, bright, bright sunshiny flowers and crap like this is now. It used to be like dark outside, like nighttime. Like if we were to dim this screen down, if I, if I can find out how, I'll try to. Kind of like that. It's always nighttime like that. I'm not too sure if you guys can see that. I'm not sure if it's just from my computer screen or something. But, um, it used to be nighttime out, and I remember this, my brother trying to talk to this one wizard, asking for help, because we just started, and it was just the, one of the meanest persons ever, like, one of the meanest people you ever meet, meet, just like, no, screw off, and just, like, walked away from us, and, I don't know, that's, like, the start of changing kids' life on RuneScape, the second you go on, and nowadays, it's, like, if you're a little kid trying to play RuneScape, first of all, people accuse you of being a little shithead and lying, and second of all, people cuss you out every second of RuneScape. Like, all you really gotta do to find out every swear in, like, the world, all you gotta do is log into RuneScape, go to the GE. Um, one of the most commonly used words in the, um, I think... In PvP, would most likely be nigger, and that's basically what I always see on Newscape. Like it's overused and stuff, and sometimes it gets like a little annoying and stuff. I mean, I'm not black or anything, but I don't really care. 
Um, whatever. Um, I don't really know what other type of things I really remember. I remember this one time. And by the way, when I was, um, 2006, I don't think I ever PK'd. But in 2007, I, I used to go in there and kill the giant rats. I thought it was, like, the coolest thing ever. Like, giant rats. I thought they were, like, pretty scary and stuff. I mean, at the time, it was actually, like, a bit scary just, like, going out and fighting them. Like, you were, like, risking your life in there. I remember the Tutorial Island. Um, I tried to get... I never knew, like, what the max level was. I think I knew. It was 99 or something, but... When I made my account, I tried to fish all the way to, like, level 99. I mean, I was getting, like, level 1 to 2 in, like, 5 seconds. So I was like, you know what? How about I just get 99 right here? Since I'm getting level so much fa so fast right now. I might as well just get 99 in, like, a couple minutes. And then, um, one thing that really brought me down right there is... It's like, you can only, um, train your skills up to, like, level 5. I was like, oh, dang it. Um... I don't know, that's basically all I really remember. And I don't really remember training on chickens or anything. Um, I don't think I would, something I ever did before, but, um, I know I used to do that on, when I started my peers and stuff up, but training on chickens would never be something I really did. But a good source of where my money came from was when I started to find out cow hides. I used to always, like, attack them and bank all the cow hides and stuff. I never knew that you can, like, tan them and stuff. Um, I never really knew much about RuneScape and money making and stuff. But one time I was in, well, I know it was a couple times, but once I got 10 law runes because... I got one of my friends to buy me, um, like, 10 law runes from the, from the general store. And 10 law runes, that just, like, that's just something that, like, makes you day. 10 law runes was, like, so much back then. I felt like I was so rich, and this happened on a, a couple of occasions, actually. I actually, um, hold on, I'm trying to do this. I actually saw a couple of rares. I saw, like, a purple party hat and a green party hat. And a red party hat in the general show before. Um, I never knew how much it was. I thought it was only like a couple thousand coins. And at the moment, I didn't have any coins whatsoever. I was like, "Hey, Nick, 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 log on, log on my account, log on your account, and buy this per party hat." But then when he gets on, it's nothing. Nothing's there. And I'll be honest here, and don't call me a liar and say I never played 2006 Gate. 2006 RuneScape. Um, I never went to Felidor to do like trades and stuff there. I used to always just like get my items by myself, and basically the only reason why I never went to Felidor, it was basically for the, because um, I wasn't a member. I think I got membership around 2008, and I remember the first day I got membership actually. I got my ship, like, I went on a walk through, like, my neighborhood and through the woods with my dad. And then on the way back, like, halfway through the woods, I was like, hey, dad, can I get membership today? Because I know, I I knew I used to ask him for membership a lot. And he used to always say no because he thought it was, like, a bad idea. So, I finally got him to do that. And me and my brother, me and my brother, because my other, my, my younger brother didn't know about Inkscape. I think he was, like, four um, not even, like, able to type back then, but me and my brother are like, holy crap, Nick, Nick, dad's buying me membership, dad's buying me membership. So then me and my brother both got membership. And something I always wanted to do when I, um, like, the first thing I ever wanted to do was go to, like, Catherby, I believe. Like, I always just wanted to go there and fish a lobster there. I was like, do you know how much money I can make here? I could just be fishing lobsters in the bank right next to it. I mean, it sounded so good in my imagination. I always thought I'd be getting, like, billions and conjillions and stuff. And one of my favorite items in RuneScape, probably since I was about seven years old, was a sand hat. I always wanted a sand hat. But one of the first items I ever wanted was a green Halloween mask. And I never knew what a holiday event was, and... 
I kind of wish I did because I would have a bunch of holiday items and stuff, but I don't know. I would have a bunch of them, but I don't have any. I don't really have much. I don't really do the holiday events anymore because right now, in all honesty, I think it's just a waste of time in my opinion now because you can't really do much with them anymore. And I wish you could do like a lot more things like you guys know what I mean like the yo-yos and stuff and like they, they do emotes and stuff I know like sometimes like basically all um holiday events are now it's called a new e like a new emote and that's basically all it is but one of the things I miss the most out of RuneScape as a whole like one of the things I miss the most ever like number one thing I miss the most of RuneScape was the uh, RuneScape dance um, I don't really know if you guys remember this. I think it was like four or five years back. At least four years ago. I remember that. Four or five years ago. Yeah, it's five years ago actually. Just noticed, um, you used to stand up and I don't really know how I can really explain it. Um, like throw your arms like left and right in the air while balance on one leg and kicking one leg out a couple times and switching legs. Um, I don't know, you guys, I don't think they have it on, on YouTube. Um, I post, and it would be probably famous if you actually had it on YouTube. Oh, dance email, I don't know, I may find it right now. Oh, dance email. Um, I hope they have it. I mean, one of the things I miss the most and I was basically really upset was when um they made the new update. And here it is right here. You guys can basically see right here. Um Good times actually, I really do miss that. Like all these old emotes and stuff. Um I really do miss those. Um but yeah the dancing emote was it most likely one of the Mostly missed things I like one of the best memories I have in RuneScape, and this video is really is to turn into like a video about my past and stuff. So if you guys are watching this, please like say in the comments saying just a like, comment saying um um I don't know I need something creative. Keep uh, you know I really have no idea actually. Um, just comment saying RuneScape is still fun and will always will be. Something like that. Say something inspirational. <laughs> uh, something like that. Um, alright. That one kick I see, but now they're all gay. No, the other one's shit compared to some new stuff. The new dancing mode rocks. Fuck that guy. And it is 2 o'clock in the morning. I have no idea what I'm even doing up right now. I'm, I'm just stupid for even staying up at the moment. And I'm kind of running out of things to say. But it's always nice to come up with something to actually talk about. It's actually, I'm actually surprised I could actually talk about something for this long. I mean, my old escape memories were really important. And I remember this one time. Um, going back to fourth grade now, me and my friend Joey, Joey, we call him Joe, so if I do refer to him as Joe sometimes, it's Joey, um, we were like best friends, and fourth grade, I told him about RuneScape, I think, I think I told him about it in third grade or fourth grade, I told him about RuneScape, and I actually have another memory, um, turkey, oh, I just wrote that down, just for, if you guys are watching this, um, we sat across from each other in class, kind of, like, uh, he's on one side of the room, on the other side, like, north and south, kind of, think about it like that. And we used to always, like, stand up in our seats and do the old RuneScape emote, and, I don't know, it was just, like, something we used to do, like, something we used to do. And remember this one time, um, I went to sit back down, and Joey put on my chair, and, like, I had my head on the bookshelf. The teacher got so mad at him, and I thought it was pretty funny, actually. It didn't even hurt, surprisingly. And now back to something else. Um, was the turkey event 
And if you guys don't know what that is, um, I think they had it, like, a year or two back. They were, like, level 138 turkeys. They're, like, the ginormous turkeys. And when you kill them, you get a turkey bone thing, like, um... Wow, my friends couldn't. Um... Crap, I just lost my train of thought. Damn it, um... A giant turkey. I think they go ten. Um, I th I believe they're only. Like, if you guys know where the Runescape, the Varrock Rest Bank, and if you guys know, like, right across from that, there's some guards. They like the guardhouse. If you go all the way down to the back of the guardhouse near the um Varrock mine, and you guys should just like look at your bank right now. If you guys like don't know what the hell I'm talking about, like, what the hell is this kid high? Um, like, right near, like, the little box area type thing. You know, I'll just show you, I'm, no, I'm not gonna show you in the video, because you guys are probably just listen to me anyways. But you guys want to get the idea. There's, like, hundreds of turkeys, um, I think of, like, two days left of that event left. And me and my friend Joey, um, we were in fourth grade, we stayed up to, I, like, legitimately stayed up to, like, six in the morning. Just killing turkeys, like, we take turns, like, I do one hour, he does one hour. And we still have them today. We have, like, 500 turkey bone, turkey drumsticks, and, like, actual turkeys. And we got, like, this cornucopia for, like, I know you guys probably have cornucopia from, like, killing chicken or some fucking shit. But, um, back in the day, um, the only way to get a cornucopia is from killing the turkey. But then, like, two years later, they decided... If you make a new account and they kill chicken, um, you automatically get a cornucopia. I thought that it wasn't really fair to the people that actually played back then and stuff, but I don't know. It wasn't really that helpful. In all my, in my opinion, it wasn't really that helpful. I mean, you could like stack a couple of food in there, but for free to play that, like holy, I was like OMFG back then, cause you can like stack couple of food in there, like, tunas and stuff, like, holy crap, I'm getting, like, 15 HP, and you're gonna use it once and stuff, like, no, it doesn't, like, disappear, but you're gonna use, like, eat out, out of it once, and then you have to, like, refill it back up and stuff, you gotta know what I'm trying to talk about, like, what, if you gotta know what I'm trying to say, um, let's try to kill this guy right now, I only know what this, like, these points thing do, um, I think it says, like, I was watching the guy saying something about, like, a royal cannon. I'm not too sure how I get that. I'm not really going to be giving a shit about it because, um, I'm not too much of a cannon type person. And I'm not, I don't really care about that type of stuff. I'm just a skiller. I just like to skill. That's basically the only reason why I still play RuneScape is for the skilling. And if I was more of a PKer... This combat we work bullshit, I'd probably be really pissed off actually. Mostly really upset. And I don't I wouldn't really know if I would play Runescape still. If I really was like that much of a PK and stuff, but I don't know, just like a thing I like to put out there and stuff. And Fuck it's two o'clock right now and I'm super tired. I'm just gonna go to bed now. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys actually did manage to get through this whole thing, comment down saying that you are a true subscriber or like a true awesome person and that you like watched the whole video. And be honest and tell me if you liked it or enjoyed it. And tell me like what other type of things you would like me to like make, like what type of topics. Um Today I covered basically my whole RuneScape life for my kid life and RuneScape was a big part of my life when I was a kid. That's basically all I really did. I do remember one time like it was like 666 and I knew it was like a bad day because my mom told me that it was like bad numbers and stuff. And I don't remember what I did on that day. I think that's the day I found out how to do like, like prayer. Like, it was the same weekend that I found out how to do prayer, which trained on Minotaurs. But this is one thing I remember that day. I don't know why. But I think we were going to my grandma's house. And I was in my mom's van. 
And that's how I clearly remember. I remember being my mom's fan that day. I remember t talking to my mom about the RuneScape and stuff. I know it may be strange, but just like... And I wasn't even remember back then. I know that for a fact I wasn't remember back then. But now I look back at it. And that was day, like, some, like, Fallout and Massacre thing came out. But, um... Yeah, I don't remember why, but I just remember being my mom's fan. And I think I'd either go into the doctor's, to, like, my mom had to go to the doctor's, or I'd go into my grandma's house. I'm not really too sure, like, to, for the exact thing we're, go we're going there for, but that's not really the point. Just, like, those little things that you remember in your mind, like, for the, the rest of your life and stuff. Like, years later, six years later, actually, to be exact. Um, a little bit over six years. I still remember that one day. I don't really know why, but just, they imprinted in my mind for some reason. I don't really know the whole deal about this thing, but I'm just going to kill this war ancestor again. And it is 2.04. A.M. I got home from the movies at around like 11 o'clock. So I've been playing this game for about a good three hours. Um, I got 71 Smith, and I'll definitely be in some more Smith than tomorrow. I'm just way too tired. I just. I don't know, I'm just gonna have a little bit of edge zone to see if that wakes me up. If it doesn't, I'm gonna just stop recording and go to bed. So I'm gonna pause it so it doesn't really sound like I'm doing anything inappropriate. And I always remember this like. One thing, um, yeah, I am a little bit more awake now. Um, I never really knew how to record videos. I never knew how to upload videos on YouTube. And, <clears throat> and I'll just tell you this. My, the first show I ever recorded and I put on YouTube, I'm probably the happiest kid on earth. Like, it, I think I had like 70 views on that. And somehow I either forgot the YouTube channel name or just because the video's not on my um old ass computer anymore. But um the video is called Hydrant Sixty Five Party Hat Adventure. I don't really know I rem I don't remember how long it was, but um if you guys know, right next to the Verrock <coughs> um fountain thing. There is, like, right in front of it, where, like, the tree is, like, in the ivy and stuff nowadays. That used to be the trading place for party hats and stuff. And that basically, I used to just go up to people and trade them. I always, like, was curious about, um, party hats and stuff. So, basically what I did, I just, like, trade them and recorded the party hats. I always wanted to just see what it looked like and stuff. And back then, the party after like 300 mil, so I was like, we're looking back at it now, I was like, holy crap, and stuff like that. But, um, sorry to cut this video short, and maybe my next video will be more about, like, how I started YouTube, and, like, about how I found out how to make, like, a real life video and stuff. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, we can subscribe. Please like this video if you guys even watched near this far. And subscribe if you haven't yet. And comment. And bye.